What inspired you to make this dress? So we're drilling the golf balls today. But it looks super duper cool so far. I'm kind of like amazed at the fact that like I did this. I look like a little fairy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kish and I make art. I am making a dress out of golf balls and hula hoops. This piece is a scholarship submission. This scholarship it needs to be submitted by February 13th. It's January 8th. Doesn't give me a lot of time. I gave myself 20 days starting yesterday. I didn't start yesterday. 20 days starting yesterday to finish this piece and take pictures and submit it before February 13th. I don't have a picture because I didn't draw out a picture. I didn't sketch out a picture. It's all up here in my noggin. You know what I'm saying? I know what it's going to look like. Y'all don't know yet, but it's going to come out how it was in my head. So come along with me for the process of creating this golf ball dress in less than, well, 19 days now. Okay, so I did like three coats and I honestly don't feel like doing another one. It's too cold to be sitting out here, but like it looks decent enough cause it's gonna be covered by like fabric and stuff. So it doesn't have to be extremely pink. So I'm gonna let this dry out here by itself because it's too cold for me to be out here anymore. Today is January 12th. Uh, it's now 15 days left for me to finish this project. So we're drilling the golf balls today. Like, I think I'm missing a piece or something because it's like, you see how it's like spinning? I don't know if it's supposed to do that. This isn't a good idea. I can already feel it. Hold on. Oh, it's... I am going to have to regroup. You see how it's like, it's not supposed to do that. Like, I don't know. This is... Okay, we're back. My friend came and he helped me figure out how to fix the drill. So I got one done. I'll do another one on camera just so y'all can see. And I'm gonna time lapse the rest. Ta da! Dash the hole. I finished drilling all the holes in the balls, right? They all have a little, a little hole in them. So now we have to start assembling the dress. Yeah, you'll see. So what I'm doing now is marking out the placement of how I want the cage dress to fall on the mannequin with using ribbon. So here I am, I'm sewing each of the cream ribbon pieces to the pink waistband ribbon piece in place just so that i know again where to put the wire and after i finish sewing each of the pieces individually i put it back over the mannequin so that i knew where it would fall and then i'm going to add the final hoop so that i know exactly how far i need each ribbon to be so that i will hold it but this is when i finally realized that yeah this ribbon isn't going to be strong enough and it kept sliding i just wanted to give you an update i bought some more ribbon because I ran out and then I went and bought this like a uh, wire twine to do the skirt because I have another idea because this isn't sturdy enough and it's lopsided. I bought two of them and they are 13 yeah 13.3 yards so yeah okay uh it's like one in the morning during this clip i couldn't sleep so i decided to go ahead and start marking where i was gonna put the wire and wrap it around the hoops and that wire was really hard to like maneuver because i got the wire that people use to make those like fake little reefs or something but it was sturdy as you can see it was holding up okay as y'all can see in the back i took the ribbons off oh i still have to take those two ribbons off but i did wire to make it more sturdy because the ribbons mm -mm. but it's a little lopsided 
I already hot glued the wire, so it's gonna have to stay lopsided. At least I've made the base sturdy. So now I'm gonna start adding the golf balls. And I decided that what I'm gonna do is just add the golf balls around the top. And then I have these vines and stuff that I'm gonna put on the bottom. And then I'm gonna sporadically add like the flower heads that I bought around it, but you'll see that. In the camera, it looks more lopsided than like, I don't know. But it's sturdy, so. so it opens with a tie so that I can like get in and out of it, obviously. That's what I'm about to do now is add the golf balls. This part, um, I got some of those green stem wires that people usually use when they're making like a fake bouquet of flowers. That's what I'm putting the golf balls on in order to keep them sturdier on the top. And I forgot to mention this, the waistband that's on the top of the dress, I also added wire there because otherwise the wire that I use around the body of the skirt, it wouldn't have held on. So I just hot glued some wire to that. And this is, I think this is like the next day or the next couple of days and i'm just finishing up the golf balls because i didn't finish it up the first day and i'm adding more wire to reinforce it because i just didn't want the dress to be too heavy and then it fell apart the only mistake i think i did make with this dress is that i uh didn't account for my height so the dress just looked awkward for my proportions today is the 24th i got three days according to my deadline which was the 27th three days to finish this but i finished the framing i don't know if y'all can really see it this is the framing that y'all just saw me do hopefully y'all can see me do it but it looks so cool it kind of looks like a bird cage anyway some of them are lopsided like the base framing ones are kind of like sticking out but yeah so i did that because i wanted it to be like i guess three-dimensional like puffed out kind of and then i'm gonna go in and put these uh fake vine leaves on them before that i'm gonna put this ribbon around the framing which is why i added extra framing in the middle and then i added those green framings at the top in the middle because i'm gonna put that ribbon around you'll just see what i mean but it looks super duper cool so far i'm kind of like amazed at the fact that like i did this super super duper cool but yeah okay so here i am i'm tucking the first part of the ribbon the shiny one in between well like behind the golf balls because I need to have like a fabric there so that I can glue the flower heads onto otherwise it just like it wouldn't stay and then I'm adding the sheer ribbon on the bottom just because I didn't really need the shiny one on the bottom but it's for the same reason so that I could attach the flower heads to it. By the way, I used gl Gorilla Glue glue sticks because yeah, that one, it really stayed. And I ran out of the sheer ribbon, so I had to add more of the shiny ribbon, which I still have that left. But you can see at the top where I was talking about the vines got lopsided because the ribbon is kind of like dipping inward, but it's okay because the vines end up covering it up. Okay, excuse the noise in the background, I'm watching a YouTube video. Don't mind how it looks, cause I know it probably looks like what is this like it looks like a two-tier cake right now but the vision just imagine i know i didn't did i show y'all the picture of i had to cut out the part because jayla's voice was like louder than mine but i was saying i'm adding the vines now and i was adding them that night just in case i ran out of vines and i didn't have enough i'll have time to order them but i had more than enough so i'm just wrapping the vines around the bottom to cover up the entire thing that's the the goal just so that you won't even see the sheer ribbon at all and this was like i guess this was a two-day process i don't remember how long this yeah i don't remember how long it was but i was just i was going like i just kept going it's starting to look like so pretty and like magical and like enchanted just like i wanted like i am obsessed with fairies so a lot of stuff that i like not a, a lot of stuff that I make, but how I dress is kind of influenced by fairies. But this piece was heavily influenced by like fairies. Okay, excuse the sound in the background. I'm watching Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen. Okay, so I did have enough vines to fill the skirt. Doesn't it look so cute? It's coming along so nicely. Now what I'm going to do? This is going to be the waistband and i'm going to put these 
fake flowers sporadically around i hope not sporadically anyway put these fake flowers sporadically around the ooh the dress so yeah i have to cut the caps like the ends of the stem so i can glue them but yeah today is the 26th one day to my self-imposed deadline and also i still have to make the bodysuit which shouldn't take long like this was the longest part and it i did it pretty fast so this part is pretty self-explanatory like i just said i'm hot gluing the flowers the flower headband to the waistband and i'm just gluing the flowers everywhere there's an empty space on the dress and then eventually i went to walmart to get some flowers with like a bigger head because the small ones just weren't filling up enough space so that's what i got i got some sunflowers and another flower i don't know what it was a daisy maybe and that's what i'm putting there and it looks so pretty like a little garden it's so pretty i'm so happy with it i was also kind of doing a little bit of midsummer here if you know you know okay so today is sunday february 5th i am way past the deadline that i gave myself but hear me out. i thought i was gonna change up the dress and i was gonna make like a little cute bouste top for the top part but every time i thought about making that i was just like nope I did order some more flowers which are in here and I have enough to fill up some more space on the skirt. And what I decided I'm going to do is I still am going to do the bodysuit part but I'm going to add flowers to it. So we're going to try to finish this today because I need to take the pictures. Like that's what we're or I'm because ain't nobody helping me with this. That's what I'm about to do. Here I am just tracing the bodysuit onto the shirt. Uh, I don't have a tutorial on this, but I'm pretty sure you can find a tutorial like everywhere in every corner of YouTube on how to do this. And I'm also like slimming it down to make it like fit me because I'm kind of small. I didn't record me sewing it because I was really just trying to hurry up and finish it at this point. But I also, I didn't sew the bottom of the um, bodysuit clothes just so that I can do this, fit it over the mannequin. And I just kind of tied it there while I hot glued the, um, the flowers onto the shirt. And I really like how this came out. Doing the sleeves is a little hard, but it wasn't that difficult. I burned my fingers a couple times, but you know, that's to be expected when you're working with hot glue. You know, if you don't get a little injured while you're making an art project, is it really art? And then I'm just adding some more flowers to the skirt because I had enough flowers to do that. So it kind of looks like a bush now, but I feel like y'all see what I'm talking about with the proportions, the more that the flowers get filled in. It was kind of given like, um, Y'all know Zoe Kravik's wedding dress? That's what it looked like after. I wasn't really messing with it. Okay, here's a little preview of the dress on. It looks, mm, I look like a cake topper. But I have, I'm gonna add a train of vines to the back because yeah. But so far, I think I'm gonna get the scholarship. I know I'm gonna get the scholarship. I think I wanna add some elastic in the, the waist like, I don't know, we'll see rate it in the comments before the grand reveal in the next clip yeah sorry this isn't the grand reveal this is me making the train that i was talking about to cover my little you know you know so that's what i'm doing i just used the rest of the ribbon that i had put a little strip of it over the white ribbon and then i'm just gonna layer the vines on top to kind of make like a a little makeshift train you know a nature trail from my behind that's what i'm doing and then i'm gonna add some flowers on it because i thought it looked kind of plain and i wanted it to blend in with the skirt so i was adding flowers along the top and then i was adding flowers along the rest of the trail and then when i did that i was like well you know i still have some vines left maybe i should make some vines to wrap around my feet because that would look cute that would make me look like a nature girl that would make me look like a fairy so that's what i did that one kind of I wasn't really sure how I was going to wrap it around my feet because I planned on wearing ballet flats, which uh, that didn't really work out, but you'll see when I get to the part of the photo shoot. Oh, um, and this whole part is the accessories, like, because I finished the dress at this point, so I'm just doing the accessories right now. After I finished the leg wraps, I did the headband where I added the extra golf balls and then um, some more flowers and then the little golf ball tees. I was kind of just winging it. Like, like I said, I just had the idea in my head. I kind of drew it out, but not well enough. I don't really draw it out. I just kind of like 
I get an idea and then I make it. I thought it was gonna look like a clown and I kind of did, but not that much. And I'm about to do my makeup for the pictures that I'm about to take. So here's the before. Mm -hmm. And I'll come back with the after. Okay, this is the finished makeup. So I'm about to go take my pictures and my sister's gonna record. Hopefully she does a good job. But yeah. So we're on the way to pick up our friend Angel, our coworker Angel. She's going to be taking my pictures. I look like a little fairy. I look like a golf ball fairy. Y'all ask me about the golf balls. I don't know what they mean, but... Mm -hmm. Can you look at the camera? Can you look at the camera again? What? The sun is going down. Let me know where I should move. <laughs> I don't know how to pose, so I'm just doing things. That's how you get the best pose. Do you actually dance or is it just the shoes? It's just the shoes. I mean, like, I know plie releve, that's it. Or like this, this position. Yeah. Oh, that looks nice. It does. It's giving like I don't know nature ballerina. Okay. Make a sad face. Like you just lost your home. I don't want to look like I just lost my Yeah, because that's what I the mean, theme is giving. What the that's what I'm saying. Okay. So maybe like, okay, you're a fairy and you just lost everything. Can you yeah, cry on demand? I was trying to do fairy. Trini, why do <laughs> I need to cry? Well, I can. I like that. <laughs> Am I still too happy? Oh, your, move, your movements are what your face isn't. That's... Look lost in thought. <laughs> I'm yeah, trying. Like... I'm trying, but huh, it's just funny. Okay. You like animals? Yeah. You like animals? I like animals. You said look like I think the squirrels just got run over. Ah! <laughs> That's funny. That's not sad! The sound effects are good. Why do you whisk with the hands doing this? I thought it was graceful. <laughs> it's not graceful. Or try, uh... I don't know. Over here is just. It's good. It was even sad. So it's just gonna be. Let's go to the okay. So the pictures were a no-go today because it got too dark too fast. We're going to go early in the morning to the golf course because the golf balls, mm, yeah. And I feel like the dress is too long, like the skirt, like it, I'm, I don't know, I'm not really tall, so it made my body look extra long. I don't know how to explain it, but she's going to look up some poses for me to do it because I just, mm mm if you saw the clip, I haven't even looked at the clip, but I know I was just looking awkward and it was so gloomy. They kept telling me to look sad and that was making me laugh. I have to wake up early. <sighs> okay. So see y'all in the next clip, which will be tomorrow. Okay. Excuse the background. I'm watching Flesh Away. Today's day two. We're trying it again. Different look. This is the wig. I put a little green in this time. The wig was my sister's suggestion. I'm not mad at it. I think it does look better. Hopefully, the pictures turn out better. I will chat with y'all, or my sister will chat with y'all. You'll see one of us before the pictures. Ooh. Right. Yeah, it's giving me like early Katy Perry. Think Katy Perry. That's what you're giving. So think that. Be happy. I'm giving Katy Perry. Think fireworks, California girl. You know, be happy. Like, have fun. <laughs> do some, do some egg yo, like you were doing this morning. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <so>. <laughs> <laughs> you make it so awkward. Cause you're making it awkward. Girl, I'm trying to help you. It's working. I'm gonna learn, like about photos and posing is they say try to make like shapes of your body if that makes sense you see how like models are taking photos do that like oh, an angle okay. something could be like your foot like at a 90 degree something like that so 
are you having fun? Is this a fun experience for you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say. It is fun though. I, mm -hmm. I'm enjoying it. I need to practice. Relaxing. Modeling. Oh yes. yeah, that. Okay. I feel relaxed. Yeah, but then when they, the pictures start going, you kind of. I wish we had like flowers or something so you can just like throw them up. Yeah, just yeah. <laughs> ah, there's ants. Ah, I knew I was getting bit out of stepping in an ant pile. Oh, can you see? Can you knock them off? Yes, <laughs> still. <laughs> ah! I thought it was just the vines, and then I looked down. And they're hurting me. You want to go buy the flag now? Yeah. Nature. Well, that's what you're giving nature. Maybe they sensed it. All the ants are gone. I hope so. They were hiding in the flowers. Oh. I look like a bush. You like a little, yeah, like a little incognito. weird without the head. Oh, see, now it would be nice to play with the train with the eyes closed. Just see. Oh, that's a nice pose. Mm -hmm. Even though you're scratching. I'm scratching. <laughs> I think we did good. Alright. Yay. Oh, you know what? Stay right there a second. Can you? Alright. What inspired you to make this dress? Money. Um, <laughs> what inspired me to make this dress was the opportunity to express myself as an artist. The prompt said to create a piece that describes me as an artist. And I think this depicts me perfectly. I feel like my ideas are a garden and they're abundant. Like, you know, gardens and flowers and they bloom. Was there any figurehead that you had in mind when you were doing this? Thinking of nature and... Um, fairies. I thought a lot about fairies. And golf balls originally supposed to be a golf ball dress originally and I ran out of golf balls so I went a completely different direction. I feel like I'm a very colorful, a colorful artist. I like colors, bright colors, big ideas. I like my ideas to be very big and yeah. It's nice. Okay guys, update on the scholarship project. I'm about to submit it now. I took the pictures as y'all saw on the last clips. Tell me why I can only upload one picture. I should have looked this up before I did it, but I think I have a really good picture. I'm gonna put it on the screen. That's the picture I chose. I think it shows like a good enough angle of everything about the skirt and the top. And yeah, and they needed me to have a title. I titled it From the Garden. But yeah, mm, I will update y'all. I have to submit it by February 13th, which is Monday, and they will choose a winner or the winners by March 3rd. So that's a pretty quick turnaround. But yeah, I also have to look for other scholarships. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll keep y'all updated. <laughs>